welcome to our channel blender tips in this tutorial uh, you will learn that how we can create the uh, beautiful procedural buffalo plate fabric material in blender with the help of nodes and here you can see that i add a lot of nodes combination to create this beautiful fabric material and here i plug in all the required and essential value into the group input node and by pressing tab here you can see the custom node group of this fabric material and here you can see by uh, with the help of this custom load group you can easily customize uh, this fabric material and here you can see that these are the color a b c of this fabric material and here are the another parameter and here you can see if i change these colors then you can see the color of this fabric is also changed beautifully and here you can also change the second color according to your requirement and this is the third color and you can also change it according to you beautifully and here uh, these are the uh, wave details and this is the as a whole scale and here you can see by increasing and decreasing you can see the patterns is changed beautifully and this is the large wave scale and here i increase and decrease you can see the pattern is also be changed beautifully and this is the small wave scale and if i uh, zoom out this and here you can see this fabric material is also have a small wave details and by increasing and decreasing this you can increase or decrease these wave detail according to you beautiful and uh, uh, this is the noise scale uh, this is the noise between these tips and here i increase and decrease the nice according to your requirement and uh, this is the as a whole roughness of this material and here you can see the roughness is changed and this is the bump strength and uh, this is the sheen weight and here i increase and decrease to change the value and here this is the uh, sheen tint color and if i change then you can see a nice tint to this material beautiful and if you want to purchase this material along with all of my other materials then you can visit my patreon page and uh, government stores links are in descriptions so let's start first i open the blender and uh, set up the scene and here you can see that uh, this is the cdb port and i am in camera view and also in render view and here you can see that uh, this is the plane which i convert into the cloth by using the cloth physics properties and uh, if i select this and enter into the edit mode of this plane then uh, you can see this is the highly subdivided object and uh, this is the uh, shader editor and here you can see i rename this material as procedural buffalo plane fabric material which is i am going to create so first i add the wave texture by pressing shift a here i search for the wave texture and place the wave texture something like here and uh, by pressing ctrl t this will be at the texture coordinate and uh, uh, mapping and here I, I use the uv coordinate of this plane and uh, this is due to the node regular add-on and if you want to enable the node regular add-on then you go to the edit and here in preferences and here in uh, no add-ons and here you just type the node and check mark the node regular add-on beautiful and select the wave texture and by pressing ctrl shift you can preview the wave texture and here i set some value of the wave texture here i decrease the scale uh, up to the three and also the decrease the detail up to uh, zero and uh, other value remain the same and by pressing ctrl uh, shift d uh, duplicate this wave texture and place this wave texture something like here and also move this uh, something like here beautiful and uh, here you can see uh, this is the in x direction and here i change uh, this wave into the y direction and select this and preview the wave textures now i want to add uh, some noise to this wave texture so for that here i search for the uh, noise texture and place the noise texture something like here and here i adjust uh, some value of this noise texture first i preview this noise texture and here i decrease the 
scale of this noise texture up to uh, one and uh, also increase the detail up to the 14 and also the roughness up to the one beautiful nice and uh, now i add the mix note by pressing shift a here i search for the uh, mix note and uh, here i change uh, this into the color and place the mix note something like here and uh, now i adjust the value of this mix note uh, something like this and here i choose the type uh, into the linear light and uh, by selecting this control shift uh, to preview and uh, here i increase uh, uh, this factor first i connect these uh, node properly so for that so for that first i put this uh, color of the noise texture into the uh, b of the mix and uh, here i unplug this value and here i use uh, the mapping vector into the factor beautiful and now i preview this and here i adjust the value of this sorry put the factor into the a and here uh, you can see the changings and uh, here i use the output of the mix and here i also into the second wave textures beautiful and here I change this factor and uh, I reduce this factor uh, to distortion, create a noise to the wave texture, and here I put the value 0 0.01. Beautiful. And now the wave textures are uh, uh, the, now the noise texture create the a little bit noise to the wave texture, and here you can see. Beautiful. Now here I want to add some more note to create these textures so by pressing a shift a here i add the math node and place the math node something like here uh, something like here and here i choose this function to the greater than and this will create the nice wave texture and by pressing shift t to duplicate and place this noise texture uh, sorry this math, math textures here and also plug in this into the this beautiful now i want to mix both these math nodes so for that i select this and by pressing shift select this and press control zero this will be at the mix color beautifully and uh, here you can see the both uh, textures are mixed with each other beautiful now I want to add the color ramp. So for that, by pressing a shift A here, I search for the uh, color ramp and place it something like here beautifully. And here I adjust the uh, value of this color ramp and uh, move this pointer uh, something like uh, here. Uh, I think uh, this is looking better. Beautiful. And uh, duplicate this and place this and uh, also connect this factor and preview this and uh, now here i adjust the value now this time here and also this time to make the color more contrasty beautiful nice and now here i want to add another uh, mix note and here i change this type into the color and here i select and put the a color into the factor now this factor this color ramp determine where is the color a and where is the color b and here i change this color into the completely dark and here i change this color to uh, something like this uh, first i preview this and now i adjust the color according to and here uh, this is looking nice beautiful and now here i uh, shift d to duplicate this mix color and place it here and uh, now here this time i use the color into the color a beautiful and here by selecting this i preview this and also change this value 
something like this and make it some more dark beautifully now it's looking better nice and now here i adjust the value so for that here i place this node something like here and uh, control shift to preview this now this is looking beautiful nice and now the principal bstf place this here to create the beautiful pattern nice and here i want to change uh, some colors uh, make it more and more bright to see it clearly now it's okay beautiful and here i increase the roughness because the cloth are not too much shiny here i increase the uh, roughness up to the point 0.75 beautiful nice and here i want to add uh, some sheen and here increase this up to the one and here now it's looking beautiful nice reduce this value to adjust according to yourself beautiful now i want to add a small wave details uh, to this fabric so for that here i search for again uh, the wave textures and uh, place the wave texture something like here and uh, here i adjust the values and here i also use the same mapping and i plug in into the wave textures and here by pressing shift and right click this will be at a reroot and here i put this something like here and here i add another and move it something like here beautiful and by pressing control shift to preview this wave texture and here i increase the scale uh, up to the 280 and here you can see this is the too much waves into our cloth and here i increase the distortion up to the 5 and here i increase the detail up to the 14 beautifully and here by pressing shift t to duplicate this and place this wave texture something like here and this is an x direction and here i choose the y direction and here i use this into the vector of the second wave texture beautiful now i want to mix these wave texture selecting these both wave texture and press ctrl 0 this will be a, a mix rgb beautiful and here to preview this by pressing ctrl shift and preview this and here uh, you can see the nice wave details are added to our fabrics beautiful and here this mix into the normal of the principal bstf and preview this beautifully and here you can see that this is the shading issue because this is the color data and this is the normal data so to convert the normal data color data into the normal data by pressing a shift here i search for the bump and place the bump something like here and also the normal into the height and here you can see beautiful and here you can see the material is too much bumpy and here i decrease the bump strength something like point to 30 beautiful now it's look better beautiful and here i adjust this something like here and also here beautiful and here you can see that our buffalo plaid fabric material is ready beautiful and by pressing 
F12. Here you can see the render view. And here is the final render of the of this fabric material. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.